I'm Zachary Shore, and I'm the new Berthold Bytes Fellow of the Krupp Foundation, and I'm here to work on wisdom in foreign policy. I'm a professor of history at the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California, and I'm also a senior fellow at the Institute of European Studies at UC Berkeley, and a fellow, a National Security Visiting Fellow at the Hoover Institution of Stanford University. I've decided to work on wisdom when I started getting gray hair, one of the first things I found was that scholars find no correlation between wisdom and age. And so my grayness actually says nothing about my sagacity. It only makes me look old. Uh, but I did find that scholars find a correlation between wisdom and suffering. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I have plenty of that. So maybe I could uh, acquire some there. But really, I'm not uh, researching wisdom because I have it, but because I want it. And really, more specifically, I want our governments to have it. The world could be on the wrong track with the rise of authoritarian regimes and extreme political parties, the lack of guardrails on artificial intelligence, uh, insufficient action against climate change. There are so many dangers and threats we're facing now. And we faced daunting dangers before, but we've managed to come through them. I just think that our course through these dangers would be so much smoother if we understood what produces wise decisions and how to apply them. I'm at the very beginning of this project, so I'm at the part of the process where I'm figuring out what might be the best decisions to explore. One of them, I think, could be the Good Friday Agreement that brought an end to the decades-long conflict in Northern Ireland. And I want to think about Botswana is an interesting case. Other countries have similar uh, cases, such as Costa Rica's decision to abolish its military, that might be a good one. And now we see Costa Rica is a much more stable country than others in the region. So that's what I want to work on as a historian, looking for key moments in the 20th century when governments made profoundly wise choices. I want to try to understand what brought those about in the hope that we can apply some guidance from them.